Hello, I'm Janet Prey with Islander Sewing Systems and today's video I'm going to show you how to set a flat cap sleeve without any pins or basting. So here I have the sleeve. It's against the bed of the machine right side up. And this is my arm side. My shoulder seam's already been sewn, but we haven't sewn up the underarm. Now I'm going to stitch the sleeve to the arm side, no pins or basting. So we'll start right here at the front and match up the underarm edges and sew from there to the first notch. And I'm going to sew this in this particular pattern. This is a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Um, for an arm size, I use anything from a quarter to 3 8 if it's a faux flat felt seam, or 5 8 inch seam allowance if you want to do a flat felt. But in this case, we're just stitching this in at 3 8. So again, remember, we match that first notch, and there is no easing in an underarm of a sleeve. It happens up at the cap if there is any. So we're going to just come right up to that first notch and stop. Now I'm going to find my next notch which is at the top of the sleeve cap. And that matches in this particular pattern to the shoulder seam here. Now you can see there's a bit of the sleeve if I hold that in place and all you Islander sewing systems uh, members, you know that we're going to hold that thumb under fingers on top uh, instead of using a pin. And then we're going to look and we see that we have some extra here. This is an inside curve. The sleeve itself is an outside curve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand underneath and as I approach this extra part, I'm going to just going to pull that sleeve back a little bit until it fits in that arm side. So it's just so simple that you'll be surprised how easily you can adapt to this method. And sew right up to there. Get this hand under here and just pull that back until it matches. You know there's no substitute for matching those raw edges as precisely as you can. If you're fudging it, you could be, that could be the reason that you're not getting as nice a looking seams or better hanging garments. It's very important when a pattern's drafted properly that you make sure everything matches. Okay, so we're going to stop at that notch and find the underarm notch, the double notch that's in the back. And match that up. Remember, I've got my needle down so that that's like a third hand holding everything in place while I come back and I adjust. Now I've got a little more in the back so um, and that's typical if your arm side is and sleeve are drafted correctly the ease more ease should be in the back of the sleeve than in the front. And if there isn't you know that your pattern was not drafted properly. So don't waste your time sewing it. Find a quality pattern at that point. Now you can see we're coming up to that double notch. We're done with all that easing. So now it's just a matter of honoring the curve. Don't straighten this curve out while you're sewing. Keep it in the curve. And then we're just going to stitch up here at the 3 8 inch. And we're done. No pins to take out because we didn't put any in. And now I'm just going to turn this over so you can see what a beautiful sleeve cap we've created. And now all that's needed is some pressing and some top stitching. And the sleeve went in just that fast. Happy sewing from Islander Sewing Systems.